Hello. Hi, Ephraim. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Very good. How Thank was you. your day at work? Um, easy. Easy? Yes. Nice. Not a lot to do. No mucho que hacer. No. Ok. No, muy tranquilo el día. Gracias a Dios. Qué bueno. Es cuestión de seguro, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm. Como esto, el, el movimiento es... Es fortuito el, el, el cómo va a estar. O sea, no se puede prever cuántos accidentes van a haber en el día. En Depende diciembre, del estrés noviembre, que diciembre gente. es que a la gente es como que le gusta, ¿verdad? Ir a chocar. Sí, tienen que ir a gastar al aguinaldo. <ríe> Hi, Adriana, how are you? How are you today, Adriana? What? Yes? How are you today? I didn't see you yesterday. No se pudo conectar, ¿verdad? No, por la laptop. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. So no worries. Pero va bien con la plataforma, ¿verdad? ¿Ya terminó la sesión 4? ¿Todavía no? Es, este, no, todavía no, pero estoy haciendo las tareas. Y como okay. no está esta opción para regresar y corregir, Creo que no sí, sí, me di cuenta ah, que había corregido, va bien. Pero, bueno. Sí, el sábado que revisé, este vi que había corregido, igual le actualicé las notas y va bien. Solo recordarle, Ajá. ¿verdad? Que para esta semana tienen que tener todo terminado, si preferiblemente para el jueves. Sí, la unidad 4 no la pude bajar tampoco. De, ¿De qué cosa? De, de, las, de las separatas. Ah, pero la mandé ayer al grupo. Fíjese que no aparezco en el grupo, teacher. Ay, qué raro. Sí. Híjole, bueno, eh, igual, de todos modos, este eh, trate de avanzar y si necesita ayuda, escribe en el grupo para... Ah, no, si no aparece. Entonces, ¿Cómo le podemos ayudar? <ríe> y en el correo para que se meta al grupo... Pero usted me escribió ayer, ¿verdad? Pero al personal suyo. Mm, ah, pues sí, ahí tengo su número, ahí se lo voy a mandar. El, el... Está bien, gracias. Para que lo tenga completo. Ok, so veo que ya están por lo menos la mitad casi. Ok, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? I stand. Awesome. Okay, so I see that most of you are here. So, um, solo recordarle, ¿verdad? Hello, Nelson. Qué bueno que se pudieron conectar temprano ahora. Good evening. Solo me falta un par, pero bueno, vamos a comenzar ya a recordarle, ¿verdad? La plataforma tiene que estar de preferencia terminada para el jueves, los ejercicios, el examen, para que ya viernes, pues, ya esté todo listo. Eh, como ya es la última semana, sí, tenemos que tener todo terminado antes del, del viernes. Ok. Right, so I'm going to share this. Share la encuesta cuando la van. Hola. La encuesta, hay que llenar una encuesta. Ah, sí, vamos a llenar una encuesta, pero eso les decía ayer que eh, la encuesta se la van a hacer llegar mañana. Les va a llegar a WhatsApp y les va a llegar al correo. En WhatsApp les aparece alguna información, pero donde les aparece completo todo es en el correo. 
Eso se lo van a hacer llegar el miércoles, pero no la vayan a llenar hasta el viernes. Porque okay. este hay que estar bien, eh, eh, hay que ir paso a paso. Porque si ponen una cosita que está mal, Insafor lo va a rechazar y después les va a costar porque va a haber que corregir. Y para evitar todo eso, para estar eh, llamándoles, pidiendo que corrijan, eh, mejor lo vamos a hacer todos el viernes. Bien. Así que aunque Bien. la reciban el miércoles, no la vayan a llenar porque lo vamos a hacer en clase. Y eso es porque igual, ¿verdad? Si no es, es el requisito de los tres requisitos para poderle dar su certificado, uno es el haber llenado esa encuesta. Ese es uno de esos requisitos. Así que la vamos a hacer el viernes. Muy bien. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí. Ahora me escribieron a, a mi WhatsApp para confirmación de para el segundo módulo. Ajá. Ah, qué bueno. No sé si eso, o sea, es general para con todos lo, lo van a hacer. Sí, yo creo que sí, porque es por la reserva del cupo. Ajá, porque me, me indicaron de que el día de ahora estaban haciendo la inscripción y que leyeron las condiciones y que, y que confirmara si estaba de acuerdo con eso para la inscripción del segundo módulo. Pero sí le, le, le contactaron de los mismos números de inglés corporativo, me imagino. Sí, el señor Oscar. ¿Eh? Sí, sí, ellos normalmente empiezan a hacer eso, pues para asegurarse, ¿verdad? Porque dependiendo de eso, abren los grupos. Ok. Ok, ¿any other question? Ok, so if there are no more questions, we're going to continue with this topic. Today we're going to have our conference number 17. We continue working in the last section, which is the number four. And for this, we have this topic. We're going to start studying about the uses of there is and there are. Do you have any idea of what this is used for? There is and there are, para que se usa, que significa? Hay, ajá, de is el singular, de hay una mesa o, o está una mesa. Yes, you have the idea, very clear, nice. Uh, is to talk about existence or non-existence of something. Es para hablar de la existencia o no existencia de algo. Es como para decir, eh, hay de haber, no de dolor. Hay de haber, de existir, ¿verdad? O no hay. Entonces, ese es un tema bien útil y vamos a estar practicando eh, con there is y there are. Como decía, ¿verdad, María Estela? There is se usa para singular. Y there are cuando vamos a mencionar algo en plural. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir hay una mesa en el, en el comedor. There is a table in the dining room. Eh, si es plural lo que voy a mencionar, entonces utilizamos there are. Y ahí tenemos el ejemplo, there are two desks. Es en plural, there are two desks. Eso es cuando vamos a hablar en afirmativo. ¿Está claro hasta aquí o vamos? ¿Preguntas? Ayer estábamos ya, empezábamos con direcciones, hablando de lugares. Eh, si yo quiero que, eh, decir que hay un centro comercial cerca de mi casa. ¿Cómo lo diría entonces para decir hay un centro comercial cerca de mi casa? There is a mall near my house. Excellent. 
There is a mall near my house. Hay un centro comercial cerca de mi casa. There is. Ahora, si queremos decir hay dos parques um, cerca. Hay dos parques cerca de aquí. There are two parks near. Excellent, yeah. excellent, Fidel. There are two parks near here. So, ahora igual, ¿verdad? Para decir, hablar de la no existencia de algo, entonces usamos there isn't, there isn't. si es plural, eh, perdón, si es singular, perdón. There isn't a table. Si es plural, there aren't. Y ahí podemos utilizar un quantifier, en este caso, any. Ya les voy a explicar de los quantifiers. Ahorita no hagan mucho caso a eso del any. Uh, there aren't any desk. También podemos formar preguntas. Para formar las preguntas, vamos a ubicar primero is o are, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, si vamos a preguntar por algo en singular, usamos is. Y luego there. Y luego mencionamos el noun o lo que sea de lo que vayamos a preguntar. Is there a table? Are there any desks? In case of plural, are there. Si se fijan, está fácil. Solo es de invertir el orden. Para oración, there is y there are. Para pregunta, is there, are there. Solo es um, invertir el orden. ¿Hay preguntas? Sí, dicho, me voy conectando. Hola Douglas, qué bueno que se pudo conectar. Eh, yo sé que ahorita pues hay tráfico, etcétera. Todavía no he pasado asistencia, solo les estaba um, explicando el tema. Eh, usamos there is y there are. Les estaba explicando para hablar de eh, cuando hay algo, cuando existe algo o cuando no existe, ¿verdad? Usamos there is para referirnos a algo singular y there are para plural. Por ejemplo, yo quiero decir, hay una mesa en el restaurante. There is a table in, a, in the restaurant. Ahora, si voy a utilizar algo plural o voy a mencionar algo en plural, voy a utilizar there are. Para hacer la negativa, solo vamos a usar there isn't for singular, there aren't for plural. Luego les explico lo del any. Ahora, para preguntas solo ubicamos. Si vamos a preguntar por algo singular, is al principio. Is there. Si es en plural, are there. Para singular aquí tenemos el ejemplo. Is there a table? Hay una mesa. Hay algunos escritorios. Are there any desk? En plural. En las respuestas... Tenemos las respuestas cortas eh, para singular, yes, there is, an affirmative. Y para negativo, no, there isn't. Short answer for plural, yes, there are, o oh, no, there aren't. Esta presentación la mandé al grupo de WhatsApp, así que igual pueden tomar nota de, de algo, ¿verdad? Para que no se les olvide la explicación. Hoy a la presentación ya se las mandé. Eh, ¿Preguntas? Ok, if no questions, vamos a chequear attendance. And then we continue. Eh, ay, qué lento está esto. Okay, remember to turn on your cameras and say present. Raise your hand so we can see that you are there. Let's start Darwin Edgardo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Delmi Sanabel. Present. Thank you. Diego Fernando. 
Okay. Douglas Isael. Present. Thank you. Eric Amilcar. Bueno, no está. Okay. Um, Fidel Coreas. Present. Flor de María. Present. Okay. Juan Ernesto. Present. Okay. Karina. <clears throat> Karina Beatriz. Luis Alonso. María Adriana. Present. María Estela. Present. María Vanessa. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Nelson Alfredo. Present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Y Reina Beatriz. So, ok, ¿hay alguien que no haya mencionado? Sí, teacher, a mí. Mi. Ok, let me see. Quiero ver. Okay. Karina. Yes, I'm here. Ok. Sí, recuerdo que la había mencionado, pero quizás salté el nombre. ¿Qué más me faltó? A mí, teacher, no me mencionó. A mí tampoco. Yo no le aparezco en el listado. No. <risa> ¿Cómo va a creer? ¿Cómo no? Efraín. Sí, aquí está. Yes. Ok. Ya los arreglé. Okay, so we're going to continue with the topic and the presentation. Okay, uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, yes, sure. like I was explaining you, aquí tenemos otro chart. As you can see, uh, there is, decíamos que es para singular. Eh, y podemos okay. usar uh, uh, quantifiers a or an. Que significa un o una, ¿verdad? Se recuerdan que esto lo vimos al principio. There is a pen on the table. For plural, there are. We use there are. And then you can use quantifier or quantities. There are two pens on the table. Ahora, para oraciones negativas, podemos usar el any. Eh, eso es como para... Siempre se usa en oraciones negativas y en pregunta. Nunca se usa en oración afirmativa. Any es eh, como... Eh, en el caso de preguntas es cuando no tenemos una idea de lo que nos vayan a responder o lo que estamos preguntando, si hay o no hay, ¿verdad? Eh, en pregunta. Y en oración negativa es como para decir nada de o ningún o ninguna. There aren't any pens on the table, as you can see the example, or there aren't two pens on the table. There are three pens on the table. So you see, it is only for negatives, and we can use it either in singular or in plural. And then um, we have the question, is there, is there a pen on the table? Con singulares podemos usar a or an. Are there for plural and we can use quantities. Are there two pens on the table? Igual si no hay idea o, o no quieren usar un número, you can use any. Are there any pens on the table? That's fine. Now for the short answer, yes, there is. Uh, no, there isn't for singular. For plural, yes, there are or no, there aren't. Remember, we're going to practice, vamos a practicar y vamos a usar 
eh, esto que está acá en el cartelito. Ok, so we're going to complete using these sentences. Hay que leer todo para saber qué va a ir, si va a ir singular, plural, afirmativo, negativo. Eh, if it is question, if it is sentence. So you see here, there is a library next to the park. En la número dos dice, all the students went home. Students in the classroom. Entonces, por lo que leo aquí, si dice que todos los estudiantes se fueron a la casa, luego menciona estudiantes en el salón de clase, entonces eso me indica que la oración sería negativa y como estamos hablando en plural de los estudiantes, there aren't. Y el any, como les decía, esto no es eh, que toda la vida tiene que ir. Se usa en oración negativa y en pregunta y es opcional. O sea que si no lo pone, tampoco es que va a estar malo. Ok, so I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can complete the sentences or questions.
Have you finished? Has everybody finished? You need more time. Okay, let's um let's do the number three. A volunteer for number three. Do you have number three? Me. Okay. ¿Quién dijo me? Karina. Karina. Okay, Karina, number three. There are 50 states in the United States. Excellent. There are 50 states in United States. Karina, select someone for number four, please. Okay. Mm. Um, ver, let me show. Vanessa. Okay. Um. No, there aren't any polar bears at the South Pole. Okay, no, there aren't any polar bears yes. at the South Pole. Very good. Choose someone to continue, Vanessa, please. Juan? Okay, Juan, number five. There is a message for me. Mm, it's a question. Es pregunta. Uh, is there a Excellent. message for me? No, there isn't. Excellent. Select someone for number six. Uh, Nelson Sanchez. Your microphone is off. Number six. Yes, please. Why? Why there aren't so many cars in the parking lot? Mm, okay, it's a question. Why are there? Okay. Excellent, excellent. Why are, are there, there so, many car? so many cars in the parking lot? Excellent. Just someone to continue with number seven, please. Beatriz Rodriguez. Uh, sit. Six question. Number six. No, number seven, please. Number seven. I am hungry. Okay. Hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. Excellent. There is a restaurant across the street. Number eight. Select someone for number eight, please. Uh, number eight, Darwin. Number eight. How many days are there in March? 30 or 31? Excellent. How many days are there in March? Very good. Uh, continue. Select someone for number nine, please. Uh, Fidel? Do you have I, number nine, Fidel? I, uh, there are a few things I had to do this afternoon. Excellent. There are a few things I have to do this afternoon. Okay, select someone to continue. Uh, Mayra. Okay, number... 10. Is there a post office nearby? I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, very good. Select someone for number 11, please. Okay. Tell me. 11. Is there something I can help you with? Very good. Then me select someone for number 12. Flor. Uh, 
and no, there aren't any public holidays next month. Very good, Flor. Select someone for number 13. Maria Adriana. How many countries? Is there uh, how many countries is there in the world? Okay, remember that it is plural. Uh, are there? Excellent, are there. In the now world. select someone for number 14. Mayra. Okay, 14. There is a woman in the picture. She's smiling. Very good. Select someone for the last one, for 15. Okay. Efraín? Okay. Uh, there are only three more days before the exam. Let's do it. Study. Excellent. Let's study. Okay, so. Good job. I, if you want to see the answers are here. Si quieren volver a chequear, aquí están las respuestas. Okay, now let us look at the picture and decide if it is true or false based on what we have here in the picture. So let's see. I will start with number one. There are seven people in the picture. Let's see, it's false, right? No. Yes, it's false. There are yes. seven people in the picture, false. Now, number two, volunteer for number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. six. Oh. There is a cat on a chair. True. Yes, it's true. Good. It's true. Uh, number three, volunteer. Uh, true. Can you read the sentence? I'm sorry. There is a woman standing behind a sofa. True. Excellent. There is a woman standing behind the. Okay, it's true. Yes, here she is. Now, volunteer for number four. Me. Oh. There aren't any cups on the table. False. Uh huh. It's false. Okay, Una. So it's false. <laughs> Very good. Uh, number five. Volunteer for number five. Me. There are some books under the coffee table. Uh, true. Yes, it's true. Excellent. Number six. Me. There is a small chair in front on the coffee table. True. Yes, excellent. It's true. Number seven. Volunteer for number seven. Me. There aren't any children in the living room. Is false. It's false. Excellent. Volunteer for number eight. Me. There are some flowers in front of a man. False. Mm -hmm. False. Thank you so much. 
Number nine. There is a fine the picture. Uh, three. Yes, it's true. Thank you so much. And finally, number 10. There is a small dog next to a chair. False. Uh -huh, it's false. A small dog next to a chair. No dogs in the picture. It's false. Okay, good. Now, we're going to find the mistakes in these sentences. Seven of them are correct. Van a encontrar los mm, mistakes, los errores. Seven sentences are correct. Hay siete oraciones que están correctas. En las demás hay errores. So I'll give you a chance for you to find the mistakes. Les voy a dar un tiempito para que vean y vean cuáles están correctas, en cuáles hay error y cuál es el error. Like, for example, here dice, is there have a garden in your yard? Aquí eso está de más. So we don't need it. There are some pens on the desk. Eso está bien. You're going to do the same. Four, four. Uh, maybe is there a car in the garage? Okay, uh, time is over. Number three, Karina, is there a mistake on number three or is correct? Vamos con la número tres. ¿Hay error o está correcta? Correct. Is correct. correct. Yes, it's correct. Number three I'm sorry is correct. correct. Uh, volunteer for number four. Me. Okay, Maria Stella, number four. Uh, mistake in R. Is, is there a car in the garage? Aha, uh -huh. está en singular, entonces tendría que ser is. is. There. Is there a car in the garage? Yeah. Excellent. A volunteer for number five. Me. I have some friends in Australia. It's correct. It's correct. Yes, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Number five is correct. A volunteer for number six. Me. There aren't have any customer in the store. Ajá, ¿Está correcta o hay algo incorrecto ahí? Eh, es correcta. Es correct. There aren't have any customers in the store. No. There aren't. But... Have. 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 Ajá, el have está de más. Ajá. Mm -hmm. So we delete have. Have is not necessary. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number seven. Me. Yes, Juan. It's correct. We aren't there any dishes on the table. Yes, it's correct. Thank you so much. Uh, number eight, volunteer. Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería lo correcto? Is there a restaurant in Teuta? Excellent. Is there a 
restaurant in the hotel. So tachamos el do y ponemos is. Very good. Number nine, volunteer. Me. I think there are many people. There are some people waiting outside to see you. Excellent. And best day is, tiene que ser are because it's are. plural. Some mm -hmm. people. Very good. Thank you so much. Number 10. Me. Are there, are there always so many people at the zoo? Uh huh. Yes, it's correct. Is there always so many people? Tendría que ser are en vez de is. Thank you so much. Uh, number 11. It's correct. It's, it's correct. correct. Yes, number 11 is correct. Now, number 12. Number 12. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Yes. Está correcta. No mistakes there. Number 13. It's correct. Is there a school near your home? Hmm. No. Are there schools? Are there schools? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, are. Está porque está en plural. plural. Schools. Escuelas. Very good. Let's Are see. there schools near your home? Number 14. How many countries are there in South America? Uh -huh. Igual, porque es countries, plural. Entonces, are. How many countries are there in South America? Good. And number 15? Is... How many countries are there in South America? Ajá, uh -huh. esas, es, uh ajá. -huh. Tendría que ir con R. What about yes. 15? Is there. Is there. Is there. A phone that. A phone that I can use. Is there a phone that I can use? Tenemos que poner is. Y el have, eliminarlo. Está de más. Is there a phone that I can use? And finally, number 16. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. Good. Now, as you can see, we have this conversation on page 31. Tenemos esta conversación en la página 41. Ahí van a ver, estamos utilizando there is, there are. Y ya pues este, ya definimos cuando usar there is, there are, ya practicamos. So ahora lo vamos a poner en práctica en esta conversación. Uh, okay, that is on page 41 of your material. Let us practice pronunciation, so please repeat. Hello, can you help me? Hello, Hello can, you, can, can you, you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry, there are five buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. 
I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are, there are a lot of training centers in the building between I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you again. Bye bye. Do you have any questions about the conversation, vocabulary, or pronunciation? Thank you again. Gracias de nuevo, o gracias otra vez. Okay. All right, left. any other question? Left side. Left. Left, side. left is izquierda. <laughs> Ah, sí, right. derecha es right, izquierda es left, y side, side significa lado, entonces sería en el lado izquierdo, on the left side. The left side. En el lado izquierdo, on the left side. Worry. 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 Aquí. Yes. Preocuparse. Si le dice don't worry, no te preocupes. Don't worry. Okay. Any other question? No question. Okay, let's repeat one more time. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Hello, Hello. I don't live here. I don't live here. 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 Okay. Mm, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do you need? Which one do you need? Do you need? Okay, let us repeat one more time. There are four buildings. There are, there are, there are, there are four buildings. Four Which one do you need? Which one? Which one? Which one do you, you need? Which Excellent. One? Which one do you need? Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know, I know it. it. It's down the street on the left side. The street on the left side. On the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are no training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have, I have some interviews there. Again. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Again. Bye bye. Okay, I know that it's kind of like difficult this one. So I'll give you some chance for you to practice. Les voy a dar un chancecito para que practiquen en grupos. The, the conversation. So I placed you in groups. Thank you. 
Okay, let's go ahead and join this section so you can practice the conversations with your classmates. Ya le mandé el manual también, eh, Adriana. Ahí revisa.
Okay, see everybody's back again. Yep. Okay, so we're going to move in and continue with the presentation. We still have a couple of slides to cover. All right, uh, according to the conversation that you just practiced, we're going to answer these questions. Uh, like for example, number one, how many Melbourne buildings are there? Four buildings. There are four buildings. There are four buildings. Pueden escribir there are four buildings o there are four Melbourne buildings. Now, where is the building where we want to go located? There is left side on the street. It is on the left Main. side on the street. Esa es una opción. Por ahí hay otra, dicen. Down the street. It's down the street. Uh -huh. Okay, how many training centers are there and where are they? Many centers. Yes, there are many training centers. There are a lot of training centers. E, they are and between the main, uh -huh. and King Street. Uh -huh. That would be the answers. Okay, so on page number 42, you have uh, a little bit more of what we have been practicing. En la 42 está ya lo que hemos estado practicando. Hemos visto el uso de there is. Dijimos que es para indicar qué cosa. Ajá, lo usamos con singular, pero para qué usamos el there is? ¿Qué es lo que indica? Hay un. Si hay one. algo. One. Si hay algo y si no hay, decimos there isn't. That is for singular. And for plural, we use there are. And we have some examples here. Let us read and practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. There is an ATM across the street. There is an, there is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There are there are a lot of companies down the street. There are, there are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. There are no hospitals on various streets. There are no hospitals on various streets. Okay, questions, vocabulary. Recruitment. Recruitment. Reclutamiento. Any other? Teacher, es contable incontable. Para los dos sirve. Los dos se usan. Eh, o, o hay que, cuando son adjetivos contable, es teris o es igual para los dos. Eh, Conta e incontable. Ajá. Cuando son. Sí. Eh, bueno, ajá, sí, porque en los, eh, los incontables normalmente son eh, porque no tienen plural entonces usamos there is verdad con incontables y eh, 
usamos an o a cuando lo que vamos a mencionar es singular y es contable. Entonces el there is se puede usar con contables y con incontables. Ok, thank you. Ok. Any other question? No more questions? Okay, so let's no complete the exercise with there is or there are and a quantifier. Vamos a usar there is or there are y un quantifier. Vamos a indicar cantidades. Acuérdense que si es singular podemos utilizar el quantifier a o an para decir un o una. Si es algo en plural, podemos usar some y así. Si es negativo, podemos usar any. Okay, let us check your answers. Volunteer for number one. There, there is a marketing presentation. Okay, good. That's the answer for number one. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Very good. Uh, volunteer for number two. Me. There are some business uh, workshops down the street. Excellent. There are some business workshops down the street. Excellent job. Number three. No, there aren't. No, there aren't any. Recruitment center around my building. Okay, excellent. That's the answer. Number four. 
Wouldn't you for number four? There is a store, there isn't a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second yes, Avenue. Hello. Very good. That's the answer. Thank you so much. Number five. There are banks be being the factory I work. There are, mm -hmm. y podemos usar some. There are some banks behind this factory I work. Very good. Y la seis, que es ese uno que está ahí. Number six. There is a building around the corner. There is an around the building around the corner. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Now moving on, we have this. We're going to continue applying this topic. As you see, uh, there is and there are, es lo que hemos estado practicando. Eh, podemos usar quantifiers como decir a o an cuando estamos uh, mencionando algo en singular. Vamos a usar a or an. Like in this example, there is a bed in the bedroom. Eh, si es no, there is no uh, sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Now, podemos usar some en oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? Para decir algunos. Y lo vamos a usar con plurales. ¿Ok? Some, vamos a utilizar el, el quantifier some. En oración afirmativa, plural. There are some chairs in the kitchen. If it is uh, negative, we can say there are no chairs in the kitchen. Or, perdón, there are no chairs in the living room. O podemos usar there aren't. Y agregar el any. Chairs in the living room. Que ahí dijimos que any solo lo vamos a ocupar en oraciones negativas y preguntas. Some en afirmativas y preguntas. Question. El any lo podemos usar en singular y en plural. El some solo en plural. Questions? Okay, so let's move. Exercise. Look at the pictures of Linda's apartment and complete the sentences. Vamos a ver estas um, fotos del apartamento de Linda y vamos a completar las oraciones. Vamos a ver vocabulario primero para que, bueno, veamos acá. Dresser in the bedroom. Chairs in the kitchen. TV in the living room. Refrigerator, rugs on the floor, curtains on the window, mirror in the bedroom, and books in the bookcase. Vocabulario. Bookcase, librera. Uh, yeah, librera. Mm -hmm. Bookcase es una librera. Rugs. Rugs son alfombras. Alfombras. You know dresser? Dressers son las que conocemos como gaveteros. Uh -huh. Un dresser es un gavetero. Creo que solo esas serían las nuevas, ¿verdad? Entonces, utilizando esto que acabamos de ver, vamos a completar basándonos también en lo que vemos aquí. Por ejemplo, la número uno está hecha como ejemplo y dice dresser in the bedroom. Entonces, miramos aquí el bedroom y vemos que no hay. No hay un gavetero, entonces por eso está there is no dresser in the bedroom. 
Y así van a completar las demás. I'll give you time for this exercise. dedicada hija, ahí está un muchacho
tiene su sana que vamos a terminar las dos. Jesús, pero vamos a terminar las dos. Vamos a ver las dos. Finish. <clears throat> Okay, let us uh, check number two. Volunteer for number two. They are so many. Share in the kitchen. Very good, Adriana. Excellent. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Sí, ahí sí, en la cocina, eh, verdad. Yes. Yes, good job. And number three. There is... Here? Yes, Me. there is a chair in the kitchen. No, oh, no, sorry, sorry. There are some chairs. Yes, number two is down. Number three. Ah, there is a TV in the living room. Excellent. There is a TV in the living room. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number four. Me. Uh, there is no refri refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay, refrigerator. excellent. Thank you so much. There is no refrigerator. Number five, volunteer for number five. Me. There aren't any rows in the floor. Excellent. There aren't any rows on the floor. Number six. There are any curtains in the windows. There aren't any curtains on the window. Excellent. Uh, number seven. There is a mirror on the bedroom. Uh -huh. There is a mirror in the bedroom. Very good. Number eight. There aren't books in the bookcase. There aren't books in the bookcase. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, so as you can see, there are some answers here. Tenemos eh, si tenían algo otra posible respuesta. Hay algunas de que pues podían ser uh, diferentes. So in number one. There is no dresser in the bedroom. O pudieron haber escrito there isn't a dresser in the bedroom. In number two, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Number three, there is a TV in the living room. In number four, aquí teníamos dos formas de contestar. Dos opciones. There isn't a refrigerator. O there is no refrigerator. Uh, both are correct. Number five, there aren't any rocks on the floor. O también otra opción era, there are no rocks on the floor. Number six, there aren't any curtains on the windows. O pudieron haber puesto, there are no curtains on the window. Cualquiera de las dos es válida y correcta. Number seven, there is a mirror in the bedroom. In number eight, también uh, teníamos dos opciones. There aren't any books in the bookcase or there are no books in the bookcase. Both were correct. Questions so far? Tienen preguntas? ¿Cómo vamos? No questions? No questions. Okay. So no, teacher. Move on. We have a conversation here. Okay, let us listen and practice it. Uh, let's repeat. This apartment is great. This apartment, this apartment is great. great. 
Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? What do you need? I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Oh, I need lots of time. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. And there aren't any chairs. So let's go shopping next weekend. So, so let's go shopping, shopping next, next weekend. Okay, let's practice one more time. This apartment is great. This apartment is great. This apartment is great. Thanks. Thanks. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I really need some furniture. Let's repeat one more time. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. <laughs> Thanks. I love it. What do you need? What do you need? Do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. Okay, one more time. Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. And there are no chairs. There are only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, there you go. Do you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Furniture. 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 Furniture se refiere a los muebles, en general, muebles. Necesito algunos muebles. I need some furniture. Any other question? No question. Any other question? No question. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Vamos. Mm -hmm. Vamos. El so en sí, ¿qué significa? Mm, so, so eh, ok, el so tiene varios usos. So, eh, puede decir, entonces, entonces vamos a comprar. Entonces vamos a comprar. So, también es como, eh, usted lo puede utilizar como en pregunta. Es como decir, so... Y entonces, ¿verdad? So, simplemente so, pero como en tono de pregunta. Eh, si alguien me está dando información inconclusa, usted no entiende qué es lo que, cuál es la finalidad, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si le están eh, tirando indirecta, así como que le digan, ay, no, puchica, no salí el 14 de febrero. Ay, qué aburrido. Entonces usted es como que, so, y entonces, o sea, ¿qué, vea? ¿Qué hacemos? So, ajá, ¿qué más? El so 
también la entonación es importante porque eh, so es también como decir y, pero si lo dicen en el, en el tono así como que so, es como y, y, de y que me importa. Entonces sí, la entonación es muy importante en inglés porque el decirlo así puede ser como ya peleando, ¿verdad? So, y... Así que sí, tiene varios usos. Esos son los más comunes. Any other question? Lots. Lots. Muchas. Muchas cosas. Necesito muchas cosas. I need lots of things. A lot se refiere a muchos. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Ok, si no hay más preguntas, vamos a practicar esta conversación en grupos. Let me create the breakout room. We're going to recreate. So it doesn't work. Okay, let's join the rooms and practice the conversation.
Okay, you're all here again. Yes, I see everybody's back again. So uh, we're going to continue with the next thing. Let's, let me share my screen again. Okay, so uh, we practice this and the last uh, slide is uh, about this. We are going to create a conversation with a partner create, uh, describing the places that are around the building using the grammar. Vamos a crear una presentación en la que vamos a describir um, el, nuestro lugar de trabajo utilizando la gramática que hemos aprendido. Um, y aquí tienen un template como cómo pueden iniciar, ¿verdad? Pueden iniciar diciendo, tell me, where do you work? Ah, I work in, uh, in an English academy. Where is it? Ah, it is on Paseo General Escalán. And you, where do you work? And y ahí pueden continuar la conversación. Ah, well, I work at, I don't know, um, English Corporativo, for example. And you say, ah, and how do you like it? Ah, I love it. It's a very big academy. There are uh, many classrooms. Uh, there is a, a conference room. Ya yeah, podemos seguir hablando utilizando lo que hemos aprendido y hacer una combinación, ¿verdad? Dando la descripción de dónde queda, qué es lo que hay, qué es lo que no hay. Uh, for example, there isn't um, enough parking, etc. Is that clear what you're going to do? Is that clear? Está claro lo que van a hacer? Yes. yes. Ok, yes. So van a crear esa conversación yes. en parejas, la van a escribir, la van a practicar y cuando regresen a la sección principal van a compartir la conversación. Ok. Ok. So I will create the sections one more time. Okay. Vamos a crearlas otra vez. Okay, you wanna be two to three participants per room? Okay. Okay. Ahí está. Um. Se lo logran ver, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Eh, usamos los nombres para hacer las mismas preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh. Sí. Ah, por ejemplo, tell me. Where do you work? Where do you work? Maria? Yes, I work. Maria? I, I, I work in uh -huh. the Air Force. The Air Force. Airport. Airport. Aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. Ah, oh, perdón. Aeropuerto. Airport. Airport. Mm -hmm. Airport. Um, and airport. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Is it? It is in Comalapa. Ajá, uh -huh. you can say it is on 
carretera a Comalapa o it is in Comalapa, ¿verdad? It is in... O este, eh, sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, Comalapa refiriéndose es... al municipio, es un municipio, ¿verdad? Es un no, lugar, La sí. Paz. Ajá. La, de, la Paz, Department, Department, La Paz. Ajá, so you can say it's on... Department... A Comalapa, in... La Paz. In La Paz. In Ajá. La Paz. Y ahí utilizan las preposiciones, utilizan on y utilizan in. It is department on La Paz. In La Paz. In La Paz. In La Paz. Ajá. Y si menciona la carretera, is on carretera is on, Comalapa. Is on car com es Comalapa. Es What do you que... say carretera en inglés? Um, ¿Cómo es? No. Road, Ajá, ¿sí? lo único que las direcciones no cambian, se uh -huh. dicen en español. Pero se puede decir in on, on Comalapa Street. In uh -huh. on Comalapa Street. Uh -huh. Street. Ok. Ok. Sí. Sería como carretera, road, también road. puede ser road. On road. Comalapa Road. Ok. Uh -huh. On Comalapa Road. Road. Next I work at B BFA. B B F A B F A F A Okay I work Okay And where is it? It is on uh, Olympic Avenue It is on, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿qué, ¿Cuál calle dijo? Olympic Avenue. 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 Eh, um, ¿Hay algo a la par Roos, o algo? Roosevelt Street, ¿verdad? Yeah. Roosevelt Street, ya. Yeah. Ah, uh, Roosevelt Street. Y allí puede decir next to tal place o in front mm -hmm. of tal place. After, after Texaco o corner. Oh, is um, on Texaco, Texas Station. From University. After corner. University Francisco Gavidia. Okay. In front. Yeah, in front. Oh. In front. Across, across, or in front. In front, across, the other side. Across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. Gavidia's University. Francisco Gavidia. I work, work in the administrator. What? Administrator service, service SST. Administrator service SST. Mm -hmm. 
Where is it? Service. Where is ST? ST. I'm sorry. Spell ST. Where is it? Where is it? I work in my house after pan pandemic work in the Torre Futura. Eh, podríamos este, poner entre medio algo que sea negativo, como preguntando lo que no es, que es falso, para decir no y hacer ahí algo. Eh, por ejemplo, donde tú dices ahí, Torre Futura. Ajá. Eh, eh, podemos poner este, eh, Torre Futura is next to the, algo que no sea, para que contestemos no. O, ajá. ajá. Uh -huh. no, ah. cerca de, no está cerca del estadio Ajá, algo que no sea <risa> O si quieren podemos Ajá. poner is it? Where is it? Where is it? in my house Y ustedes pueden hacer la pregunta After pandemia, where is it? Eh. O oh, where is it after pandemia In metro centro in Metro Center, yo puedo colocar, no, I work is in Torre Futura. Sí. O, o usar también el there is o there I, tratar de... de, de, de ah, de, para colocarlo. Ajá, o sea, es para usar otros. Sí. Eh, por ajá. ejemplo, there, there are... There are... There are. Um, Are there, si es pregunta, are there. Ah, si hay preguntas, are there, um, are there. Shopping malls no nearby, near there. Cerca de ahí, are there shopping uh -huh. malls near there. Are there shopping. Are there shopping, uh -huh. are there shopping mall near there. Y ahí dice, mm. no, there aren't. Uh -huh. No, there Parent. Okay. Leamosla como quedó. Ya vamos. Espera, eh, bueno, lo voy a quitar. Alcanzo a ver aquí. Eh, no. 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 ¿Qué? No. No, pero como ya vamos a retornar, quizás ahí la vamos a... Okay, um, let's see who finished. Volunteer to role play the conversation. At least one or two groups. Okay. Hey, Juan Maria, Fidel. Okay, Juan, Maria, and Fidel. Okay, let us listen to this group. Okay, solo comparto la pantalla. <laughs> Porque Perfect. creo que no, no. Ok, a ver acá. A ver, comenzaba yo. Juan. Eh, María, Juan. Ok. Eh, tell me, where do you work, María?
Maria. Open your microphone. I work in the airport. Where is it? Uh, it is a um, department in La Paz on Comalapa Street and Comalapa Street. Uh, where do you work, Fidel? I work at um, BFA. Where is it? Is on um, Olympic Avenue and Roswell Street across from University. Francisco Davidia. And you, Juan, where do you, where do you work? I work in the administrator service ST. Where is it? I work in the house. After pandemic, I work at Torre Futura. Are the shopping mall near there? No, they yeah. aren't. Okay. Very good job. Thank you so much. You did a very, very good job. I know that it's uh, time to go to bed. Es ya hora de irse, verdad? Y los que no pasaron y quieren pasar, mañana tendremos chance. <laughs> So in case you want to continue working on that, that's okay. Tomorrow we will have chance. So I see you tomorrow. And remember, mañana van a recibir la encuesta muy probablemente, pero no la vayan a llenar porque hay cosas que necesitamos indicaciones específicas. So we will do it on Friday. Okay. See? Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, classmate. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you.